Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial we're going to have a look at how we collect our favourite effects, our favourite type effects, into a folder in Final Cut Pro 10, so they're a little bit easier to access. So you might have uh, your favourite effects or your favourite titles, and you always need to dig through the different folders in Final Cut Pro 10 to find them. Here we're going to look at a way in which you can actually collect them together and create some favorites. So there's a couple of different ways of doing this. So we'll jump into our type generators to start with. And there's definitely a couple of titles that I use in here a lot. So we're going to come into the bumper and open the titles. And I use the basic title in here a lot. Now, if you have Apple Motion, and um, we can really quickly kind of pop this in our own folder. So I'm going to right click on this or control and click. I'm going to open a copy of this in Motion. And now once we have it open in Apple Motion, all we need to do is actually save it out and we can then create our favorites folder here. So I'm gonna to go to File and Save. And it's gonna save it as a duplicate copy here. And we'll get an option here of where we wanna save it. So we wanna make a new category in this category list and this is gonna be our favorite list. So I'm gonna do underscore favorites. We'll create that and we'll call it basic title. So same name, we're putting it in a different category um, so it'll be fine. So we'll publish that. And now if we jump back into Final Cut Pro 10, then you can see uh, the underscore has its purpose. It puts it at the beginning of this list. So we have the beginnings of our list here. So we can do this uh, with a number of different titles. So if I scroll up here, um, I like the Tapsa multi-line background text. If I right click on this, open it in motion and then go to file and save as. Now I can choose my favorites folder from the list here. I'll call this multi-line text background and then we'll publish that into the favorites. And now you can see in Final Cut Pro 10, here we're collecting those different plugins from different folders into our own uh, folder here. So we can do this for our titles, we can do this for our effects. Um, if we have Apple Motion, we can basically, for instance, go into our effects here we can grab an effect from here. So let's grab the Gaussian Blur, which I use a lot. We'll right click here. We'll make a copy in Motion. And straight away, we'll go straight to File, Save As. We're gonna make a new category. We'll call it underscore favorites again. And we'll hit Create. Now we can do this without Apple Motion as well, and we'll have a look at how to do that in a second. And we'll publish this. So now again, in our effects on the right hand side, if we scroll up, we have all and then right underneath it, we have our favorites. So we can select most of our plugins to kind of jump into these folders. Now, if you don't have Apple Motion um, and you're wanting to collect those default Final Cut Pro 10 plugins into one folder, uh, then you can do that too. So we'll jump to the finder here and basically it's a bit tricky to kind of find the folder where these are stored, but you can see I've got my building and build out type plugins here. Um, if I right click here, we've actually come into Final Cut Pro, the app, into contents, plugins, media providers, motion effects, content, resources, templates, and titles. And these are the default titles and effects that you get uh, with Final Cut Pro 10. Now you just wanna be super careful here that you make a copy of these effects rather than moving them from this folder. So I'm gonna come into my light options here. We'll go and select this Glow plugin. And basically within Light, we can see down here the Light option. We'll grab the Glow, we'll copy that folder. So Edit and Copy, or Command and C. And then I'm gonna make a new folder here. We'll jump into Movies, Motion Templates, into the effects, and then into my favorites. And we can just paste in that glow effect into there. And then when we come back into Final Cut Pro, it might take a moment or two, but glow pops up. So now these effects are fully functional. Now, one other thing to note here that's really important is that some of the custom effects plugins that you've bought and paid for may not be able to be gathered into folders in this way, but certainly the, the built-in effects or any plugins that you make yourself, you can kind of organize and store in your own folder in Final Cut Pro 10. So sometimes you just need to be a bit mindful of that. So some of the more advanced effects that you download, or if there's copyright protection built into some of the effects that you're buying online, 
they may not be able to be moved uh, into kind of a favorites folder but you can certainly do that with things like the the elements the lower thirds any of these basic effects um, you can obviously right click on one of these make a copy in motion in here we can do things also like modifying some of the basic colors or the outlines of these different effects or the images that we have in these effects as well so we can kind of make our own customized version of that but that's for another tutorial um, but then we can go to file save as we'll save it again into our favorites we'll call this clouds lower third and now in our type options in Final Cut Pro 10 we have those three different titles uh, that we've dropped into there. So that's how to make a favorites folder in Final Cut Pro 10. And as you can see, we're really easily kind of moving them from one location to another with motion or going into Final Cut Pro and making a copy of those and grabbing those out and then putting them into our own favorites folder in the finder um, where we can kind of see all those files and folders. Just be a bit careful with this that you don't delete stuff from within the Final Cut Pro application, but it's kind of fun to see how things work or are set up behind the scenes, I always find. Just to show you this folder location again, so you can see it's in Final Cut Pro here. Now to actually get into the Final Cut Pro folder and find that file location, we need to right click here and go to show package contents. And then once I was inside here, all I did was search for a plugin that I knew was in there. So basically um, we looked for something like scrolling and we have in the contents folder our scrolling title. And then you can right click on this folder, show the enclosing folder, and that's where we can kind of find uh, these different uh, files and folders for the different effects that are installed by default in Final Cut Pro 10. And then we can move them across either into our effects or our titles favorite folder that we make. And so this is an answer to a question that popped up on one of the videos on my channel. Hopefully it's useful for a few people here. Um, if you have any questions, then do leave them in the comments below. I'm trying to get a bit better at answering them and also kind of answering the tutorials. Um, but I do definitely enjoy uh, reading them um, and I enjoy the, the kind of positive and kind of critical feedback, always trying to improve the videos. Um, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, then leave a comment or question below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.